Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Singla and in today's session, we are going to talk about another important interview question. So let's see what is the question. But before starting with this session, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any important update. So now let's start with the session and let me explain you what is the question and then we'll see how we can solve that. So the question is something like we have to arrange the words by their length in a sentence and you can also say we need to arrange the words in the ascending order so suppose we have a string of something like this like uh, react is a library so now we need to arrange this complete sentence or arrange its word by their length so the output I am expecting here is so length of every word I need to check so here are the output should be something like this okay so let's see how to solve this one. To solve this problem, I'm going to use a uh, few methods. The one is the split method, which basically a string method, which basically used to convert your string to array. And then I'm going to use sort method that will basically sort the array. And one more method I will use, and that is the join, which will do the opposite of split. It, it is going to convert my array to string. So with the help of these methods, I'm going to resolve this question. So let's see. So quickly, let's create a function and give it any name as of now. I'm giving it a name of reverse string. I'm just creating a structure first of all, so that we can run this one. We are going to call this function somewhere. So I'm going to pass this string as an input to this function. I can hold it here in this variable. So if you do console.log, you must be getting the same output react is a library right now what we need to do we need to get something like this so for that i need to apply some sorting but sorting we can apply on an array right so first of all i need to convert it to an array so to convert a string to array we have a split method so wherever i have a white space based on that i am converting it to an array so if you run this one now it will display me an array which will have four index or four value and the output should be something like this react is a library right so we we have converted my string to an array now it's quite simple we can apply sort function on the array right so what we need to do we need to apply a sort method and it will hold a callback right so as we have a string, so sort will not directly work. We have to write that logic here that we usually do to uh, apply sorting on any string, right? So we need to say a dot length minus b dot length. And based on that, it is going to return me a sorted array. So if you do console dot log now, let's see what you will get. Okay, so this length spelling is not correct. Let me do that and let's try again. Correct, right? This is what we were expecting. So we are almost done now. The only thing is it is an array, but my output should be a string. So I'm going to use my last method, which is going to convert my array to string. So what you can do, you can return your output, but as a string. So let's use this join method. So here I'm returning something. So just to print it, let me do console.log as of now. So when you will run this one, you should get the output. So this is the expected output, right? So we have just used three methods and we are done. Split, sort and join. We will convert our string to array first of all so that we can apply some array methods on that as we have to reverse the string. So that's why we use we have used the sort method. So once we get the output, then we have to convert our array back to string. Sometime like I have converted it to ascending right ascending order if you get a requirement of descending order then all you need to do you just need to do the opposite of this one so this is for ascending and if you have a descending requirement then in that case you just need to say b dot length minus a dot length rest of the logic will remain same so here you can see we get the opposite of that so this is a descending one so just a simple change and you will get the output so this is how i have solved this 
question if you have some better approach do let me know in the comment section so this is all for today i hope you like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share with your friends see you in the next video till then take care and keep learning